Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to the Beta Plan. So, I uh, let time uh, skip by a little bit in order to gain some money when two very noteworthy things happened. First of all, the formation of the Warriors of Peru. The Slavic faith has been reformed and this has led to a religious fervor throughout the lands of the Slavs, the likes of which has never seen before. Many of the greatest champions have come together to form a new Slavic Holy Order. They call themselves the Warriors of Perun, the God of Thunder, and have all taken vows to defend the Slave Faith and its believers to their dying breaths. Many enemies of Perun quake in their boots. Yes, may they indeed. But that is not the only thing, because as we reform the Slavic Faith, and people flock to its banner to defend it, the Polish king goes on and becomes orthodox. What the flippity? Like, really? But... It, it, no, just not but. That's just not right. But, having said that, both his sons, including his heir, who is a genius, is still Slavic. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, he still loves his father. Well... The reason being all these bonuses you see here to his relation towards his father. Uh, I just hope he stays faithful, but we're going to check in like a few days. And most likely, we are going to be stuck with a Poland that has become orthodox. Unacceptable. And now we may have to get actually the holy site in pluck here. Because currently... It's on the orthodox rule. Right, well, let's get at it. Let's do this. Poland, you arse. I, I am on this like a hawk. He has enough relation to change his faith. Why did you become... You were first married to my half-sister, and now you are married to my daughter. And you say, well, you knew what? I think I'm going orthodox. We just reformed the faith. <sighs> I, I just, wow, I'm getting a lot of uh, pop-ups, by the way. That I didn't read them out loud. But about my uh, family focus now aiding me in getting more relationship with, for instance, my sons or between my sons. My son-in-law has become... I, I can't believe this. This is just... This is a black day for the slaving faith. So shortly after we reformed it. By the way, Paradox, you should really fix this. This man has lost both his wars. With a hun, uh, with One is at a 100% war score. The other is at 80% or so. Or 77. And... He doesn't surrender to either of them. Because in his mind... He needs to be defeated by 100% for Yiland in order to have the subjugation war going off. But he also lost to Saxony. But because lands are occupied by the other or some reason whatnot, these wars are not ending. This is silly. These lands have been, I don't know how long they have been independent, so to speak. But yeah, no, this is just weird. Uh, by the way, Bavaria, uh, just winning its war as well from Italy, has uh, gone over recently to a Carling. Why am I being called by England? I think this is England? Van. No, this is Brittany. How the heck did my slavic daughter marry a Catholic? No, not my daughter, my half-sister. I didn't do that! Decline. D d d d I I wow. Weird things happening in this episode. Hmm. Yes, as said, <clears throat> we might be lucky currently in real life, perhaps a little bit less in the game, but then again, my grandmother always used to say that those who are l uh, unlucky in the game are lucky in love. Let's hope so. I have not noticed that a lot, to be honest. 
But let me not put all my woes upon to my listeners. And I said, I'm pretty much actually in very, very high spirits today, so... Ah... <sighs> Don't, don't, don't do it. I, I, I'm telling you, don't change your son to old, to orthodox. I'm, I'm warning you. Okay, still slaving. I, I cannot stop not looking here. This is just so wrong. And there's also now a big chance that they will get out of tribal, probably. Um, the capital isn't very developed. Speaking of that, I have enough, um, prestige to gain some more... Stuff. Let's make training grounds, and let's make uh, a training grounds. And I'm only developing these two provinces currently because my main heir will only get these two provinces, Kiev and Korzun, and the high chieftain. Whereas my other son will gain uh, Rus, the kingdom of Rus in itself, and probably lands that own come with that. And my other sons will also gain something, quite a bit even. The Kingdom of Volga Bulgaria here. Chiefdom of Severia, that lies actually in Ruthenia. And the other son will get High Chiefdom of Sugrov. Yeah, uh, oh, not a marital bliss event. Oh, by the way, this son indeed, he grew of age. And uh, he became a military man, but outside of that, he is just simply a humble man. A humble soldier. Also, I noticed, funny enough, if not for these events that now give me plus 50 for love, uh, I'm a suspected adulterer. I said no, I don't know why this is on. It's called Unfaithful. Uh, well, the one event that I once said yes to and then made her my concubine. <laughs> she is my concubine, you cannot consider that unfaithful woman. And this, uh, this lady is still quite angry that she is a concubine, as you can plainly see, minus 36. So... That is not too shabby. I don't actually like her that much as well. Minus 14. This lady has gone insane and doesn't like me at all. And this lady loves me but is depressed. Yeah, I can now understand why I'm not getting any extra babies from my concubines. Oh, well, they were there for the prestige anyways. Just for the, uh, say, hey, I am the daughter of a king. Mwahaha. But in that case, I am actually going to throw one of them out. I'm going to throw out the uh, insane woman, because, well, she is insane. Um, can I demand her, well, I was already like, can't demand her religious conversion. That would be weird. And I will take her as a concubine, and that will give me another 50 prestige. And you hate me for it, I don't care, um, the other one also hated me. And you're Croatian. Girl, that I didn't even know that while I had captured. Alright, well, we will teach you while you were in my prison. Hmm. Revolt against Ugra. Do we want to jump in on that? No, because if we raise our levies, we are going to lose serious money and we're getting close to usurping this title. I already calculated I was unfortunately a little bit too, too eager to gain the Empire title, but even if I gain all these lands, I will not have enough. I am barely off them. Properly. Properly. Probably. Wow. I get ever much. <clears throat> Probably I will not have enough. It is a little bit on how you calculate, uh, how you round up things or down, if I did that correctly, so quickly, in between these episodes. By the way, Denmark is, uh, well, mostly also as Norway, now it's a little revolt I noticed. Sweden owns a lot of Finland. I have stopped being greedy again. Yeah, then it's good that we do not jump in on this. Oh, and it's already over again. Our, our levies would have never reached in time. Alright then, righteous imprisonment, on you! You are quite insane! You're a lunatic and you have the pox. And nobody cares if I capture you. Well then, let's go to my council. Uh, this uh, suppressed revolt ability of your marshal actually gives you also plus 20% to arrest chance. Now I noticed it was about 80%, so if I put him there, the chance should be... 94. Voila, we managed. And I want to ransom you. You also have enough gold. Good. Because I do want me some extra gold. 
That would be quite nice if we also want to still form uh, the Russian Empire. And we have an old slavic revolt. I don't like... I am not going to come to your war. You, I don't know how you shacked my sister, but no. You can forget this. You are 15. I will see if I can educate you, if you will allow me that. No, you are not even allowing that. And no. <laughs> this is getting funny. He is calling me for the sixth time into the same war. Wow. Ah, a very unique event. The people of the province of Chernikov have assimilated new customs from afar, blending them with old slave traditions. They have also take, mm, taken to calling themselves Rus or Russians. New, but still recognizable. So, uh, that is over here. Alright, and we are not... No, we're not changing the, the culture of that, because I do not want to change cultures of the Russian people so much, because I actually want to become Russian later on. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, we now really, really need his money. If we want to send in the troops to suppress this revolt and still usurp the title. How much income do you have? Well, you know what? Let's first call in the troops. We, we need the troops. We need the troops in order to beat down this revolt. We cannot stand for it. If we call up all the men here, I think we are quite in danger, I think. Yes. Let's see how far south we can go with our men that come from the north. And to see if we can still combine them into an army that is of any use to us. We need to be very careful though, because winter has, arri has arrived and they are here with Several armies that are somewhat decent size. Let, let's let's use those words. And another daughter was born to my former heir. They are not moving. They are moving to Tver. He's moved to Moscow. That seems like we can get our troops. That's very good. Good sir. Do you have the money? No, you do not. Because now we are losing money slowly. And we are being called to war in Pomerania. Except I'm not going to do anything. But I will accept. And there another daughter has come of age. Uh, we'll look at you later honey. Daddy is kind of busy with a warfare. Some people do not like the fact that we have reformed the faith. While this king has done quite a lot for the Russian region. Reforming both faith. Forming the kingdoms. Creating stability. Uh, can we now ransom you? Because you seem to have enough. Yes, very good. This king will go down as the first king of Rus. And the first king of Ruthuania. And one that has done tremendous deeds. Thank you very much. Now we usurp this title. And now we can say, do you want to vassalize? Yes, do you want to vassalize? He says, no, we will declare war on him later. Do you want to vassalize, even though I took away your titles? No, you just simply hate me. I can understand that. I will grant you the title that I just took away, and you are now a double duke. Enjoy. Oh, we have been defeated. Oh, that's the uh, falling of the tribe to the army. Yeah, I'm not surprised that that happened, to be honest. I assume more will fall in, actually. Well, we have gathered an army now to suppress the revolt. And we have the money to field the army as well. And he created a new duchy title, Gaily. And I cannot take that away from him. When will you arrive in Tver? On the 13th of April. We're gonna move. This is the battle they are moving in. And there is my last daughter that comes of age. Quite a pretty face, I must say. I like that face. Yeah, that's quite a pretty face, but as people may notice, I have a little skip in time because... As I said, I had a good day in real life, but it seems that recording is not going that smoothly. 
But I wouldn't want to leave you without the result of the battle, though it was already probably quite clear as I came in with 6,000 men versus 3,000. I am utterly, utterly slaughtering this rebellion. They are losing already by 85% and I'm just going to finish up this rebellion for the end of the episode. Uh, oh well, you can't win it all. I'm so sorry that recording does not always work properly. I have my fast key set far away from the shortcuts that are used in CK2 themselves, but apparently for some oddity, mm, I apparently hit it nonetheless when I moved my fingers? I uh, don't know. Oh well. Regardless, it is clear this- whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this <laughs> vault is down and I think one of my sons got a twin. That indeed he do, indeedly doodly, he got that. Alright, well, <clears throat> man, you can stand down, you... I enforce my demands, gives me a lot of prestige, gives me a lot of piety, gives me the chance to banish you, and have us more faith. Did he just go... Wow, I banished this man, who is a heresiarch. The char this character is the leader of a fanatic and militant heretic sect. Okay. He may not be in my lands. So where does he go to? Yes. To our new holy order of our reformed faith. Uh, what? A zealous heretic goes to the holy order of our new reformed faith and they hate each other. That's not logical. Okay, on that note, I uh, thank you for watching. This was the Peter Plan.